Well, here we are in the Royal Square, the main public building of the island here, the Government States Building, Royal Court Building, the famous ramp which they had to put up a few weeks ago because they forgot to put one up, so we had to remind them on that. Lots of nice 18th century buildings, but all of course pretty miserable access, most of them. Ground floor not too bad, but public toilets just not accessible. 18th century winding staircases if they've got them. And the main shopping centre just beyond. They are so rare public toilets in the main street that it's an absolute scandal. BHS were allowed to remove theirs. Goodness knows how. Now this is the Pickett House. Nice 18th century building which they didn't know what to do with. State's own building. So they saved it from the uh, a developer the other week, he wasn't going to redevelop it, he was, going to to, he was using it for something, but the state's debate, Deputy Young raised it. Okay, they've got a stair execution on this building for 12 months, they don't know what to do with it. Wouldn't it be wonderful to put a nice public toilet in there, somewhere nice and central for everybody to see and everybody to know where it was, and changing places in a place where people knew where it was and they could access it. Bang central, bear in mind there's nothing readily available in the government building. If you go up and see the states, you've got to go up three floors, I think it is, of a winding staircase. This is how it is. You see, if you want toilet accommodation, don't come to St. Helier. That seems to be the story. No signs, no indication where to go for a toilet. And if you've got disabilities, heaven help you. And if you've got severe disabilities and you want the changing places toilet, well, what are you supposed to do? Right, these are the famous Conway Street toilets, which are the subject of redevelopment as we can see. We'll go and have a look at them a bit closer if I can cross the road without getting run over. There they are. You can see through the cage, let's see what they call it. Of course, they've got to give it a, a poncy French name, La Blanchette, they're calling this now. It says the parish of St. Helier in 2013, it says, agreed to the redevelopment of Conway Street toilets. And they're going to uh, provide a kiosk on the ground floor, which will uh, offset the cost, so it says. There it is, look. You can see it through the... There it is. Now we've got it on the ground floor. We've got some toilet accommodation, WCs, I don't know if that's male or female, I don't know what that is. Or mixed. And there's a little unit there with a kiosk and a lift going up to first floor where we've got on the first floor it says a disabled ambulant person's toilet and kitchen. And then the first second floor office space and the lift access of course and also disabled ambulant persons toilet and kitchenette presumably that goes with the office not for general public use so that's the general scheme of it called La Blanchette because apparently a million years ago there used to be sand dunes down here what that's got to do with the price of fish today nobody knows there's a little notice there which says helpfully these toilets are gone and it appears to be pointing you that you have to have very good eyesight to alternative to toilets now in the bus station. It says where we are now, but it doesn't refer at all to the changing places toilet, which was built at the cost of nearly £100,000 at the back of the town hall. If it does say that, I can't see it. And of course, it's not very readily accessible for anybody who comes here and looking for the toilets. Where are they now, they might wonder. Well, it's all a bit vague isn't it? I don't know when this is going to be finished. But here we are, this is what we've got. It's a building site. It's not public toilets. Nearest toilets appear to be the bus station. No mention of the changing places. So there we are, we will uh, there we are, the development of Conway Street toilets. Public toilets is all in the name of the public. 
Well, there we are. That's the uh, Conway Street toilets under construction there. Bang in the middle of the uh, commercial part of St. Helia. Banking area. Couldn't get much more central to the banks. Right smack in the middle now. A little rather feeble sign up there. Not a sign anywhere for toilets accommodation. This is what we're trying to point out here. Rather feeble little street signs up there. And we used to be a toilet block there. Bang in the middle where everybody could see it. Everybody knew what it was. It's now a cafe, of course. All part of the town trend to turn anything that can produce a little bit of income into a money spinner. So that toilet's gone. No signs anywhere for toilets. And the signs that are here, out of the way, not very conspicuous for people with sight impairment and various issues, not much use at all. So signs, pretty appalling. And you can see lots of busy traffic. Town hall down that way which is where the changing places accommodation is but not a sign anywhere around here to say it's there